Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to fill out these authors or writers purpose notes. Um, obviously, I'm not here with you in class, so I figured we would just do this together. Please feel free at any point to pause the video to get caught up if I'm moving too fast, um, but I want to make sure that you have all of these notes with any explanation that you might need. So again, feel free to pause these notes um, or pause the video if you need a little extra time to write down answers. So, author's or writer's purpose. You might have been taught pies before if you were talking about author's purpose. So, we're going to go through and fill out all of the, this information together. And so, anything in red, I'm going to write what the answer should be. So, please do that on your piece of paper as well. So, the definition is the author's purpose is the main reason for writing any literary work. When writing nonfiction, an author can have more than one purpose. But that's going to be for nonfiction only. So there are four different purposes that authors could write. It is to persuade, to inform or explain, to entertain, and then to share feelings. So we're going to go through each of these. I'm going to give you the definition of each of them and then give you an example of what those types of text would look like. So the first one is persuade. This is when facts, statistics, and, the op and opinions are going to be used to convince an audience. So the goal of persuasion is you want to convince the audience of something. Should you buy something like that? Should you wear a certain thing? Should you choose to change a law and so forth? So types of examples that are going to have a purpose of persuasion are going to be essays, articles, opinion editorials, and advertisements in newspapers, um, on billboards, and so forth. All of these types are what we would call an expository type of text. So moving on to inform or explain. So this is when we're going to be using facts or statistics to give information about a topic. No opinions are allowed. So we're going to see this type of purpose of writing in essays, articles, newspapers, nonfiction books. So again, all of those type of texts are going to fall under that expository category. Our third type of author's purpose is to entertain, and this is when our author is going to tell a story or an experience to invoke emotion. So the author is going to want to make us laugh or cry or be angry or upset. Think about um, when we read The Honest Truth, there were so many times that with Mark, I felt angry with him. I wanted to cry with him, and that's the author's that's their goal. They want to entertain us with through those emotions. So we'll see these types of text through, or we'll see these types of this type of purpose through short stories, through novels, drama, poetry, and all of that is going to fall under the fiction category. And then the last type of purpose is to share feelings. And so this is going to give opinions and thoughts that helps the author express themselves. It can result in being entertaining. So sometimes the share feelings one gets a little confusing, um, but we mostly, we're gonna see it in poetry, we'll see it in personal narratives. So we'll see this type of uh, this type of purpose in personal narratives, poetry, journals, and opinion articles. So if I'm thinking about is it expository or in fiction, what genre? It's going to be both. So both expository and fiction. So it can be found in both of those genres. So pause the video now if you need to get caught up on these. Okay. So moving on, we have an example in the center down here. This is kind of our little infographic. And our example is trees. 
okay? So our topic is gonna be about trees. So there are four little boxes over here. And so clearly these four things are gonna be the four different types of author's purpose. So we're gonna read each of the little main ideas and try to identify what is the type of purpose. So our first main idea that we're gonna read is in the top left. And it says, as the tree danced on stage, all the children cheered. So if I'm thinking about that, is it persuade? No, it's not trying to tell me to get something or buy something or convince me of something. Is it to inform? Well, it's not really giving us a fact or a statistic, so no. Is it to entertain? Is it to tell about a story and an experience and to invoke emotion? Well, we do know that they cheered, so they're happy. Or is it to share feelings, gives opinions and thoughts, that helps reader express themselves, it can result in being entertaining. I don't really think it's that, so I'm going to say that this one is going to be to entertain. So please write that down in your notes. So let's skip to the bottom one down here. The main idea says, fir trees should be protected by law. Okay, so we can go ahead and knock out entertain because we've already answered that one. So look, let's look at the others. The first one is persuade. So are they trying to use statistics or opinions to convince an audience? Well, if I'm rereading it, it says fir tree should be protected by law. Should, meaning we need to do it, that's going to tell me that it might be to persuade. But I'm going to go to inform or explain. Is it using a fact or statistic to give information? No, it's not saying that there are laws in place for fir trees. So I'm going to knock that out. And then share feelings. Does it um, give opinions and thoughts that helps the author express themselves? No, there are no opinions and thoughts on this one. So by process of elimination, this would be a purpose of persuade. Clearly, I can't spell it right. Okay. Moving on up to the top right. Okay, so the main idea says fir trees are a type of evergreen. We already have to persuade done. We already have to share to entertain done. So we have inform or share feelings. Out of those two, the best fit would be to inform because it is telling us a fact. It's telling us what type of trees they are. They are evergreens. Then the last one, main, the main idea is smelling the sweet apples, feeling the rough bark. He climbed high in the tree. This is true freedom. So I really think that this be, this could be to entertain, but I also think that it could be telling um, um, about how they feel. So they smelled the sweet apples and they felt the bark. They climbed high. That's talking about the senses and how they felt at that moment. So to me, that could be to share feelings. Again, it also could be entertain. So you can definitely write both down if you wish. That box is not big. Okay, so when you're done filling this out, please go ahead and put this in the study section of your binder and then add to the table of contents. Again, if you need to review it, this video is here for you, but put this in the study section of your binder and add the title of author's or writer's purpose notes to your table of contents.